During the interview, one of my favorite questions to ask is a time when maybe something didn't go so right in their job and what did they learn from it? This really shows me that they're the kind of person who doesn't expect everything to go perfectly, who can learn from something and move on. Hi, I'm Liz Robertson, Director for Support Engineering at Olive. I'll be sharing some information to help you prepare for an interview for an engineering position here at Olive. If you're looking to make a career change, there's some things you should keep in mind. I've seen lots of people successfully take the skills and the practices that they've learned somewhere else in a different role that might not seem directly related and apply it very successfully to a new role. If you've had positions of responsibility where you've had to keep track of things and be organized and prioritize things and work with different people and sometimes deal with difficult people or a conflict situation. All of those things are applicable to so many roles, especially as the roles become more complex and maybe include more responsibility. So if you are looking for a career change, think about those things that you've done in your previous career that really are very applicable to almost any other responsible kind of job that you might be applying for. What we're assessing during the interview is technical fit and team fit. For the technical fit, we're really just making sure that the kinds of technical demands that this role has is a good fit for your experience, your skills, and what you're interested in. So be open and share the kinds of things that you've worked on, what you really love working on, what you're interested in learning more about. Also for team fit, you might be asked about things that reveal about your personality, how you like to work with others, whether you like to work alone, what kinds of things motivate you. These are all so the interviewer can get to know you and kind of picture how you might fit in with the rest of the team. The kind of soft skills we're looking for are about communication, motivation, and collaboration. Olive can be a fast-paced place to work. So it's great if you have people that really care about what they're doing and are pretty motivated to be there. Also, people who can collaborate and work with others. Don't forget to show these kinds of skills when you're in the interview process itself with your interviewer. Make sure you're listening carefully to the question and articulating yourself so that you're really well understood. Almost every interview will end with some kind of question about whether you have questions for the person who's been interviewing you. What I recommend is you, you do some homework about the company that you're interviewing with. For Olive, look on our website. And then good questions would be any follow-up questions for things that you learn on the site, or more about how your role makes an impact on what Olive's goals are. All of this will show that you're really interested in the company and can kind of see yourself there and contributing along with everybody else. Setting my team up for success is the most important thing I can do as a manager. How to do that, first of all, is by lending clarity. People need to be clear about what's expected of them and how what they do makes a difference in the bigger picture. Next is to make sure they've got the tools and the abilities that they need, if that means particular training or access to things so that they can do their job very well. And then the next one is removing any obstacles. Sometimes things happen and it impedes how well you can do your job. That's where your manager can come in and hopefully remove obstacles for you so you can do your job successfully. It is important to build diverse teams. There's just something about having people with diverse backgrounds that really brings out the best ideas. In any kind of competitive situation that a company is in, if they have people that have similar backgrounds and are kind of always going to come to the same conclusions about things, that doesn't really give them that much of an advantage. But if you have people with different backgrounds, they could be injecting ideas that other people wouldn't normally think of. And the result just ends up being better that way. That's one of the reasons why we are committed to building diverse teams at Olive. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. As you approach your interview, remember to be open, interested, and curious. That's the best approach to really find out if this is the kind of job for you. Thanks for your time.